hello and welcome to this video and to the slightly monkey car park at Luton Airport. Yeah. Um, so if you saw the packing video you will understand that we are going on a mystery holiday that's been organised by the company Journey. We have no idea where we're going and we leave in like two hours uh, so we can finally find out where we're off to. We thought we'd do it in the car park just because A we sat down and B ease and then we can get to the airport and do what we need to do in the airport. So mm -hmm. Right, what's your guess? Uh my guess is Croatia, but that might be just wishful thinking because that's where we wanted to go anyway. But it seems to fit the clues that I actually understood. I'm going Montenegro. Just Which is essentially the next door neighbour, so it yeah. could be either or random. We also thought about like Sicily and Greece and stuff like that, didn't we? Well, other people did. Other people did as well, yeah. So, where are we going? Oh, wait. Open this way up, your destination name will be facing towards this side. Right, let's squeeze up. Your that looks like a... It's a mountain. A, a, a difference, yeah. No. That looks like Italy, doesn't it, roughly? No. That looks nice. We're going Greece. to Greece. Greece, Greece Island. I don't think it's an island. Oh, maybe not, but... Uh, no. Oh, we're going to two places, aren't we? Yeah. So. Metora, Meteora Metora. and Thessaloniki. Yeah. Greece is not where I thought. Peter and Faye, we are so happy you dared to embrace the unknown and trust us with this uh, trip. Get ready to experience the hidden gem that is the... Metoria. So I'm how to say that. Yeah, I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, we know you, you will be welcome. New experiences and broaden your horizons. Enjoy your quality time. You deserve it. Cool. I like Greece. So do I. I might get this spinach of fair thing I'm after. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We've arrived. And I'm aware that uh, we said where we were going and then we've essentially left you to it for, you know, seconds for you, but the whole day for us. Could you move the crackers so I don't sit on them? Thank you. Um, but travel day wasn't quite as smooth as it perhaps could have been, or should have been. The, um, yeah, the parking was quite far away and it took a while to get the bus. Then it took a while to get there. So we went to get a quicker bite to eat. Well, so we got, we got through security and all of that and it was like three minutes until our gate was going to come up. So we were like, well, we don't have time to go and actually have a sit down dinner. Chopsticks was nice though. So we went to Chopsticks for some rice and chicken, essentially. Um, which was fine. And then we bought some Krispy Kremes that we ate on the plane. And we rushed and bought some cream and all of that kind of stuff because while we were eating, uh, they started boarding. Um, as we got to the gate, it was final call. And then we sat on the tarmac for an hour. And 20 minutes. Because was funny, there yeah. was uh, congestion over France and the Netherlands. Yeah. Too many planes in the sky, um, which meant we had to wait, which is quite uncomfortable. I was very uncomfortable. I'm still very uncomfortable. Um, but we've made it, and I feel a bit bamboozled. Yeah. Because people keep asking us questions, and I'm like, I don't I mean, The know. taxi driver was very nice. He was. He was nice. And he knew that we didn't really know a bloody thing. <laughs> um, but yeah. So we are in the City Plaza Apartments in... Thessalonica, Thessaloniki, Thessaloniki. Um, I'm still not sure how we pronounce any of the places that we're staying, which is a bit problematic for these vlogs, so you'll just have to cope with my shoddy pronunciation. Um, it is currently 10pm Greek time, but 8.15 UK time. This room is quite warm, so I'm trying to get the air con to cool us down um, so yeah let's give you a quick nice, nice view. huh nice view into other people's houses quick so this is our nice. bathroom shower um oh yeah you just put it up there okay that makes sense i got confused and stuff we... Is Greece the one where you have to throw your toilet paper in the bin? Or do we think they've got proper plumbing in the 
second city. They usually have a sign of their own. They do. So I think in the second city you can throw it away properly. Um, and then this is our room. So there's a, a desk with coffee making facilities. Um, there's a full length mirror here. And obviously our bed, chair and lamp, little shoe thing. And then we have a, a, bit dark out here, a balcony but... just over some of the other these with a couple of chairs by the looks of it. It's very warm up here. Yeah. I said it's 10 o'clock and it's like what 28 degrees. We will not be doing anything else tonight. My snacks are gonna come in handy as I thought they would. We don't know open, do we? No, we want the aircon. Um, yeah, so we're gonna eat some of the snacks rather than going out. Probably make a plan for tomorrow because we've got a free day where they haven't booked us anything. So we've got to work out what we're doing, which obviously I would have done before we came, but we didn't know where we were going, so we'll do that now. Sleep, because I'm rather tired. So yeah, I'll see you in the morning for hopefully a more refreshed and we can go and explore Thessaloniki. I think I'm saying that correct. Hello, good morning, and uh, welcome to our first full day. Um, as you will have heard in the clip before, this is a free day where we decide what we're doing. Um, so we found a free walking tour of here. Um, so we're going to do that, that starts at 10 till 12. And then we don't really know. We might go to the museum about the Olympics. We also know that it's going to be very hot, so we'll probably end up coming here and back to our room for a couple of hours, just in the main heat of the day. Um, try and be sensible. All of that stuff. So yeah, um, free walking tours can't normally film, but I will film some of the stuff that we see. Um, and we'll have a nice little musical montage coming up next unless we find like food or something and then I'll come back to you but yeah, that is the plan for this morning we made it and I've got my spinach feta thing cheers I don't know what Pete's ordered. Is that good? What did you order? Sausage, cheese, uh, veg, dumpling. And that fan is a good thing. Hello, it's some time later since I last came to you, which I believe was lunch. And so from there, we haven't done a huge amount. Uh, the the heat is sort of a bit unrelentless and sort of energy sapping. So after the, the sandwich and the juice, we had a wander, we looked at a couple of things, but then we've come back to the room and we've pretty much been here ever since. So that was like, what, half two, three o'clock? What do you think? Yeah, it was, yeah, about three probably, yeah. Um, and it's now half six. Some planning for the rest of the I was getting to that bit. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we both had a snooze, and then this pizza. We've been trying to make a bit of a plan for the other days of our holiday because, as you know, we didn't know we were coming, so we didn't know what to expect or do. 
So we, I think we've got a plan for here now, haven't we? Yeah. For obviously we're on our excursion tomorrow to Mount Olympus, and that, um, and then we do travel to the other place that I can't pronounce. How do I pronounce it? Mitoritoria. Did they ever actually give you a pronunciation in those? I think so. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we got a train to it's there right. at, I think, three on Sunday. So we've made a plan for that. We have also booked ourselves a tour and a restaurant in the other place, which is famous for its monasteries, which we'll come to. They'll probably be in a separate vlog. But we were looking at the hiking trails and stuff and with how we're both feeling with the heat but also me being pregnant and all of that kind of stuff we weren't sure that it was going to be the best idea so we've booked ourselves a a half day excursion that will take us around in a in a mini bus so i guess you know tourists it looks like your head's coming out of my shoulder pete yeah, yeah. but yeah it's now half six i'm Changed into a different dress. Um, that was a glorious shower, I have to say. Uh, although we do have to hold it with our hand, which is annoying. And we did ask whether they could put it up, but she didn't seem to understand or want to. So we've just got to hold it to shower ourselves, which is fine, just not ideal. That was a sidetrack that I wasn't meaning to go on. Yes, yeah, so we're going to head out for dinner. Uh, our guide today said that Locals don't tend to eat till like 9, 10, 11. Um, so we're very early for dinner in, in Greek terms, but I'm hungry. And it's a half hour walk yeah. Yeah. Um, to where we're planning on going. And we'll wander by the seafront and stuff. We'll probably do that after dinner as well, get some ice cream, all of that things. So I will bring you along and we can see what we get to. Um, it's still very hot, I think, outside, even though it's of this hour. But sunset soon, I think. But there we go. Ready? So you get way more in a cup than you do a cone. Yeah, well I've got a small to be Well. One scoop. Yeah. This is way more than one scoop. But it's melting, so I need to go. Quite full from the main meal, so it'll be the first time I've ever got a small. <laughs> yeah, true. Good morning. Welcome to another day. It's very early. I'm very tired. But today we are off on our excursion. We're going to Dion and we're going to Dion and Mount Olympus, which should be fun. Learn about the gods and all of that. But yeah, we have to get the coach at like eight, so we've had to be up when there's a six in the hour, just so we can make it on time, uh, which is not natural for me and Pete. Although, might be soon. <laughs> yeah, so we're doing that. We're heading off there. Again, I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to show you um, as it's a tour and things, but it'll be B-roll or I'll try. Um, and yeah, let's uh, head on off. Hopefully there's time to sleep on a coach. <sighs> but yeah, there we go. This lift is really creepy. I'm not sure I like it. But we use it anyway. I'm convinced at one point on it. It's when we get stuck at some point because it's turned. Um, there's a door. But yeah, how are you feeling, Pete? Tired. Yeah, all right. right. Let's start the day. So we've made it to our archaeological site of Dion, which 
which was a big sort of town around the time of Alexandra the Great, and then became a Roman colony and got abandoned in like 5 AD or something. It's not really till the 70s that they started excavating it, so there's a lot of this that they still haven't uncovered. Um, it's very quiet and very green for a Greek archaeological site, which is nice because it's warm, so it means there's lots of shade. I don't know whether when we get further to the actual bit that we're supposed to be sitting, because I'm currently waiting for Pete who's in the toilet, um, whether it's a bit more, you know, dusty. It's taken about an hour to get out here on the coach, on the minibus, and you won't be able to see, you might be able to see. Uh, I... No, it just looks like a white sponge. Oh no, there you go. That it is part of Mount Olympus. So yeah, I've just got to wait for Pete now, so we can head on over. This is a very heavy bag, I'm glad he's carrying it. So this apparently is part of the Temple of Zeus. This was the main bit, the first bit. They built the altar to make sacrifices. Smell some rocks. And I was saying to Pete, it's about the same in Thessaloniki as well, is that they don't really know what to do with their sites. They're like, we've got them, they're cool, but we don't know what to do with them. Which is why this place is also so very quiet. Also quite nice, though, quiet. It is, but a bit odd, really. Do you think about... What about Chichen Itza or something? Compared to it, Itza, I guess it's kind of different because there really isn't much here compared to Chichen Itza, where there is actually bigger things. Any of that, I think, turn around. But yeah, I mean, like things in Rome, like the Forum and that kind of stuff, that's been made very much into a tourist thing. This probably could have similar effects, but doesn't. Um, so yeah, where, where's he going? What are you doing? Well, I can see the pillars. There we go. Mountains. There's a mountain. Should we see more of that when we do a hike or whatever it is that we're doing? And then we've got some more ruins of something. So this is the, what did they call it? Roman Theatre. The Hellenistic Theatre. Um, my guess is the bit that you can't really see, so the orchestra pit and all of that kind of stuff, is the bit that they ex excavated and then they've added in the bank seating. I think our guide on the bus said that they still do concerts here over the summer and stuff, but I don't know how true that is. Um, yeah, and then I think we go back the way we came again. <laughs> Like we're in the Swiss Alps or something. Yeah. It's like we're in the Swiss Alps. Where were we not for? Mount Olympus, somewhere around there. Well, it's here. Yeah. The big mountain, though. It's big. Mountain big. big. Quite high up. Is that the sea? Yeah, I think so, yeah. you got a mountain behind you as well. Mm. You won't be climbing this one. No. Done Snowden. One, one and done. One and done. So we came to Port Gyros. 
That's good. It doesn't have a name, it's on the make of one way in a place that I don't know where we are. Yeah, anyway, yeah. So we've changed food location to come for a rather um, decadent looking pudding. But does that mean lunch all together is cost £5.70 each? As what, so? Lunch all together, £5.70. £5.70, yeah, it's about five quid each, yeah. They're very good stuff. I mean, that, this alone would cost five quid in the UK. Like, mm -hmm. these. Yeah. It's pretty cheap around here. Uh, I think this is a chocolate Oreo mousse thing. So that's what we're going with. Tonight we've come to this place. The orange, the beer. It's in the street. We've uh, gone a bit less British today, so I'm, I'm on a masaka and Pete's on a clip I was going to go for the big uh, spin uh, seafood linguine, but you know it's, it's frozen, so I'm going to go for yeah, big lamb. Big lamb yeah. instead. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a very quiet street, although we are right on the edge, so as people walk past, it is like past our table. But hey, hey yeah, there's lots of uh, big reserved tables, so. But then everyone eats late, so maybe they'll turn up after we've finished anyway. <laughs> Wine, moussaka, and a hunk of meat. They both look so good. That sauce was great as well. Yeah, we had a feta tomato thing. Yeah. <laughs> Pigeons look like they're going to enjoy it too. That was another good milk. Very. You're shaking the camera off. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's because I'm waddling, because I've eaten too much. Yeah, excellent food. So we're. Uh, Aim aimlessly wandering to try and check a statue out and allow some of the food to go down. Head back. And when we get back, we'll talk to you about the day because we haven't done that yet. We happened across some more Roman ruins. Standing in the flash a bit. But that bit seems a bit creepy. Also, these cats. Yourself. I love the ruins, not that you can see it very well. It's behind that weird dome thing. So, yeah. There's another one that's just here without any information or reason. So what did you think to today's excursion? Obviously we didn't plan it or pick it or... I think it was okay. I think the, the mountain part was really good. I think the Dion part was... A little boring. I don't know about boring. I think it could have been interesting if it wasn't self-guided and there was a bit more information. Self-guided. There wasn't loads of stuff there. It was still interesting, but like, like if there was a guide talking you through each of the things and what life would have been like and mm. yada yada, which you kind of did on the bus, but not really. Um, so yeah, it was nice that it was green and shaded though. It's unusual for that kind of site. But it feels like, and I think I said this earlier, the same with here in the city, that they're just not quite geared up for tourists yet. Yeah. They haven't quite figured out what they're doing with their... Which is nice when it comes to like food and everything. Yeah. Because oh. we've eaten well. Yeah, very well. Um, but I'd say like three and a half out of five for the... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, as I said, we didn't pick it or choose it I don't would we have picked it I don't know maybe we'd have gone to the thermal spa bath thing instead yeah well, maybe don't vote but have we done it in advance the when we saw it on the thing and it said Mount Olympus that excited me but I thought we would get a bit more about the gods I thought we would yeah I don't know it was a nice little town we stopped at the end 
yeah that was a nice town uh the walk was nice and i was a little bit worried when they suddenly changed to this like hike and i was like oh dear am i gonna manage it pregnant but it was literally a path all the way so that was fine i think there was one little bit that was a bit it was more like steps but those like slidey stones um which was fine very very small moment yeah i mean it was nothing really uh, so yeah i mean it's been a good day uh still hot <laughs> what's traveling tomorrow well, yeah busy morning we've got planned as well but um not too busy do i end this vlog here and start a new one tomorrow or do i makes sense too doesn't it yeah i think but yeah so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna end this vlog here so if you've enjoyed our first couple of days in Thessaloniki, I think I'm pronouncing that right now, I think I've learned, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe because we are going to, now how do they pronounce that one? Metoria. Um, That's not how they pronounce it, but it's how it pronounce it for a UK person. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which is lots of monasteries hanging off cliffs by the sounds of it. Yeah, that's good. Um, so that should be fun. Um, and so we head there tomorrow. So as I said, if you haven't subscribed, do that because we've got a video coming next week for that one. Um, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.